Parks. I'm, I work with Reason Digital, who's hosting this today. Um, and one question I had was, do you have any um, specific tips for using humour for a lot of organisations and charities who are very um, serious causes that they deal with, uh, like um, you know, violence or disease or addiction? It's often very difficult to find humour in those topics. Yeah. Uh, do you have any tips how, how they could use humour in campaigns? Okay, well... I'm a bit of a storyteller, as you could probably tell, and I think in order to identify humour or to pick up on humour, you need to find the human story first. So you need to find the story, you need to speak to people, engage with them, fi find out what's happened to them, and always, you know, within that, there will usually is something that you... Basically, comedy is like exaggerating something, right? It's like... Um, uh, it's taking the small, like Michael McIntyre, you know, you talk about the postman, everyone knows, what, you know, the postman delivers the post, but then he'll exaggerate it, exaggerate it until it becomes so funny. Like, I remember he's talking about um, being in a shoe shop, and would you like to try on the other shoe? He had some joke around that. I just thought, yeah, that's actually, it's obvious, you know, they always ask you that sort of thing. So it's about, I think it's about, first of all, identifying someone's voice, and s this sounds really naff, right, but basically, see someone, don't look at their issue first, look at them as them as an individual first, find their story, find out what's happened to them, and then from there you can maybe identify uh, something within that that you could try and use, um, possibly in a humor, in, you know, bring some element of humor to it. Or um, I'm trying to think of an example. I've worked for Amnesty International. There was no joy there. Every morning executions. I used to work on for Asia Pacific, so at four o'clock in the morning my Blackberry would start sending me messages about death, destruction and misery. So it's always a joy to get out of bed. Um, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't really use humour there um, because it's quite difficult to use humour there. Um, but we did humanise people's experiences by basically just getting all their stories out. I think what happens a lot with some, some charities is they're so busy trying to get their message out or their marketing message or their fundraising message that they actually forget that actually this is about people. This is about, you have to make someone connect with someone. That's the biggest and most important thing. You have to make a human being connect with another human being. As soon as they connect with that human being, they will care about them, then they will want to try and do something to improve whatever problem they're facing. So I'm happy to uh, talk to you about it a bit more later. I'll try and think about, think about you know, maybe some of the work I've done in the past where I've you know, used that.